I want to thank you guys for tuning in to another episode of The Chop Shop. So last episode, guys, we talked about how the coronavirus has affected the NCAA and all the changes that were made, all the decisions that were made because of that. We also got to talk to a, a special guest, a local Edward Waters College volleyball star, Katarina Revere, to get her perspective, her take on how the coronavirus has affected her, her team, um, you know, the way they practice, all of that. So for today's video, we are going to review the 2020 Everett Waters College volleyball team. Um, they're coming off a pretty good season last year, uh, going 15 and 10 overall, um, and also some big changes coming. Uh, they, they lost one of their legendary head coaches, uh, Dr. Marilyn Mack, who has been a coach for the last 18 seasons, um, has been producing winning records, has uh, really put Everett Waters College volleyball on the map and made the volleyball team one of the most winning programs at the school. So besides the loss of one of the most greatest coaches to ever step foot on the campus, the team was able to still keep some key players to continue the success for this upcoming year. Players like Anissa Guzman, uh, Andrea Merced, Katarina Rabir, Amani Biddle. These players were a key role into last season's success and are expected into producing the same amount of numbers for this season. So although they were able to keep, you know, the key players that I just named off and other returners, there's a lot of new faces coming to the team, including new head coach Shaquana Miller and assistant head coach Ambriana Moore. Head coach Shaquana Miller comes to EWC after serving as the head volleyball coach at Virginia Union University in Richmond, Virginia from the years 2014 to 2017, where she built a successful volleyball program and developed numerous first team all-conference and all CIAA recognitions. So prior to her coaching at Virginia Union University, Shaquana Miller spent two years overseas in Japan training student athletes for the next level of competition. Um, in addition, she made these student athletes and actually made a special Olympics team. So now let's talk about assistant head coach Embriana Moore. Um, she did play collegiate volleyball at Virginia Union University, where she was coached under Shaquana Miller. Um, in her time there, she was an amazing player, uh, a lot of accolades. She won Rookie of the Year in 2015, uh, Outstanding Defense in 2016 and 18, and she received MVP honors in 2017. Um, during her time there, her stats were off the wall, uh, 692 kills, uh, 288 blocks, uh, ranked fifth in the CIAA for hitting percentages and second in the conference for blocks. Um, in addition, she received numerous all-conference awards. Um, so there is no doubt that Coach Moore is more than qualified for this position, and I'm pretty sure she will do a great job. So I got to talk to Angel Durrett, a sophomore on the Edward Waters College volleyball team, to ask her how she felt about the new season, the new coach, and uh, what are expectations? Uh, let's see what she had to say. Hello, everybody. My name is Angel Durrett, and I am a middle hitter for Aaron Waters College volleyball team. And I would like to say a few things for my new coaches. Um, they are well coaches. They're solid. They're determined to win. They want to win championships. They want to win a whole season, just like we do. Um, my expectations for myself is to be a good player, attitude, positive energy at all times. I need my vertical to be high at all times. I want to get perfect passes if I'm ever on the back row, you know. And then I also want to get good serves. I want to always want to be in the game at all times. And I want to help my teammates win for this whole season. And um, our season is going to be a great like season. Like We're going to win. I'm determined and I know that we're going to win for a fact. And I want all those teams to know that we are coming for y'all and we're going to win this season. And yeah, thank you. I want to thank Angel for taking the time and speaking with us and giving her take on the new season, new coach, and answering our questions. Um, and I also want to thank you guys, the viewers, for tuning in to another episode of The Chop Shop. See you guys next week. Thank you.